It seems like everybody's talking about Boise State women's beach volleyball player. Nora. N- Nora Hayde. I love Nora. She's so cool. You're going to love this even more. <laughs> yeah. Her real name is Eleanor. Oh, I love the name Eleanor. Yeah. That's so cute. You like those older traditional names? I like Gertrude. Old lady- oh, yeah. I like old lady names. Edith. Mm, oh, I think Edith is cute. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Those are great. <laughs> so let's play a fun, exciting game of one of these things is not like the other. If you're watching on YouTube. Oh, there's Charlie and Avery and Addison and Maya. Allison and Charlie and Michaela and Addison again. There's Eris and Angelina and Nora and Ava. So there's Nora. <laughs> I, I think you probably got what's different about her. Yeah. They're, she's unapologetic is what's different about her. She call- doesn't conform, man. Yeah. And that, I love that about her. I know. I think she's so cool. <laughs> They're calling her a goth athlete. Uh-huh. Or a gothlete. Yes. I yeah. love the portmanteau. <laughs> right. <laughs> she just, okay, if if you're not watching, let me describe her to you. She First of all, I think she's 6'1 or 6'2". Oh, wow. So she's a tall girl. Yeah, she's from oh Seattle, my gosh. where there's no shortage of alternative fashion choices. Oh, I love that, though. I think she's 19. Uh-huh. And I think that she actually toned her look down a bit for, really? for this photo. Yeah. In this photo, she's uh, in her team photo mm-hmm. on the BSU website. Mm-hmm. She's got white foundation. Mm-hmm. I'm with you so far in terms of makeup. Red and black hair, still there. Uh-huh. Nose ring. Okay, uh-huh. this is where it gets kind of crazy. Yeah. Uh, nostril piercings. So she's got a septum piercing. Uh huh. Septum and no- piercing. And, and then nostril, nostril piercings. piercings with a chain that uh-huh. goes across the bridge of her nose. Mm-hmm. Then she has eyebrow bars. And she's got these little decorative eyeliner dots around her eyes yes. that are really cute. Yeah. She looks badass. She looks so cool. Honestly, I would be terrified to play against her. Right, right. And like you said, I love that, you know, all of the other ladies. Charlie, Avery, Addison, Maya, Allison, Charlie, Michaela, etc. cetera. Uh-huh. You know, they all kind of have the same look. They've got a traditional look, yeah. And Nora's not afraid to stand out. Yeah, I think that's cool, too. Especially with something like beach volleyball, yeah. where you hear that and you sort of expect a very specific type of person. Yeah. You know, I like that she breaks the mold. I think that's super cool. Now, Nora, Nora if I can, I do have one tip for you. As a ginge who gets sunburnt all the time, now I recognize that playing beach volleyball, you're probably going to be in the sun a lot. If you want to maintain the like really pale aesthetic, totally cool. If you don't, don't it doesn't matter I to think me she either does. way. But if you do, a uh, Neutrogena 100 plus SPF is where it's at, babes. <laughs> they make a spray on kind. It is the tits. <laughs> Pro tip, life hack, wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Somebody sent me her Instagram and I checked it out. Oh, yeah? It's kind of fun to see her progression from <laughs> finger quotes normal <laughs> to goth late. Uh-huh. So here's a few early pictures. We'll just show them. You can kind of see when she hits that white foundation look that mm-hmm. she likes so much. Mm-hmm. She's got some animals in her photos, horsies. Oh, I love that. And then you, yeah. And then you finally see her as she is now with her cute little doggo. That's also part of her Instagram profile pic. Mm-hmm. Like, every goth I've ever met is always the nicest person. Yeah. You know? Like, they always, like, love their animals. They're always super sweet. I think part of it is that they know what it's like to feel, mis- like, misunderstood and, like, judged. So they don't do that with the critters. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I know we have a local resident goth YouTuber. Man, I forget her name. We do? I want to say Maddie Danger. Does that sound that familiar? That is a super cool name. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think I've seen her on YouTube a couple of times Mm -hmm. in my travels. I know a gal around here that actually drives around a hearse. But she actually seems super nice. You do? I do. Really? Yeah. You know what's funny is that I saw... So one day I just saw a hearse driving around town and I was like, I bet that belongs to some really cool goth chick. And then one day I saw her getting out of the hearse, realized I kind of sort of knew her. Like we'd passed... We'd crossed paths a couple of times. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh... That's exactly who I would have thought owned that car. <laughs> that makes sense. I mean, I know a dude about my age who drives, who has a hearse and breaks it out around Halloween, especially. Yeah, it seems honestly kind of But, but that fun. seems, you know, that seems right up 
you know, yeah, right a, a middle aged guy's alley. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. That's true. That's I wonder true. What the gas mileage is on a hearse? Not good. Yeah. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> Plus, you are carrying around a lot of empty space. Yeah. You know, although I have seen some people who will turn the back into like a little sleeping area mm -hmm. and they'll have like little bat plushies and stuff. It's very cute. <laughs> yeah. Put some badass tires on there and take it up to the woods, do a little yeah. camping. Right. Sure. <laughs> yeah. I think that'd be fun. Can you imagine stumbling upon a goth camping out in their hearse? <laughs> <laughs> that would just be like something. A, just enjoying nature. <laughs> I think I'm going to go to the camping spot a mile over. <laughs> you have fun. <laughs> I'm kidding. They're just there to see some bats. Some of my best friends were goths. Mm -hmm. I, I then mean, they had to I grow up and get a real job, but <laughs> hopefully, Nora, you won't have to. There's a hot minute in middle school where I wasn't really... I didn't really go full goth because I was afraid of being rejected by my peers, but mm -hmm. I wore a lot of black and I definitely stuck to that. Well, and can we describe your outfit? Oh, yes. This is fairly gothy. It is a little. Is there so, a way you can show off your leggings I without? Can... Uh... About that? <laughs> Perfect. Maybe. Maybe you'll get that in the frame. You'll at least see my knee here. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Um, You've got the, in fact, you wore this for a Halloween episode last year as I well. Did. I did. I just love this. I only get to break it out seasonally. Mm -hmm. So when I do get to break it out, I absolutely take advantage of that. Um, but yeah, this is a little smack parlor set that I bought back when I was working in retail. It happened to be in the shop and it happened to go on sale. So of course I had to get it. It's uh, It's got that black and white and purple mm -hmm. sort of spider web sort of look. Yes, love yeah, it. and I love that the top is sheer, mm -hmm. so you can either wear just a bra underneath it, or you can wear like a full-on tank top, full-on t-shirt, whatever you feel like. Yeah. I decided to, you know, go for it because I like to uh, keep things cool. I am wearing purple and green <laughs> because yeah. it was the wackiest Halloween combo I could think of. and mm -hmm. Very jokery, too. Yeah, we're sort of paying our respects <laughs> to the dead on delivery Joker <laughs> sequel. Yeah. Uh, it's only 33% at Rotten Tomatoes, but then again, what do they know? I've rarely, if ever, let that influence my movie watching choices. And it's a musical with Lady Gaga, so I still want to see it. I don't hate the musical aspect of it. I yeah. just, here's the thing. Having not seen it, so obviously I'm talking completely out of my ass right mm -hmm. now, okay? But I don't feel like it makes sense to Arthur Fleck's character for him to be able to get a girlfriend, especially one who's like obsessed with him. Mm -hmm. You know, I actually had a friend who sort of posed this um, alternative scenario that I think would have played a lot better, where basically the roles of Harley Quinn and Joker were sort of reversed, where she was the one who was sort of in power in the relationship and he was very subservient to her. Well, they've, yeah, they've reimagined the Marvel and DC universes right. both several times. Why right. not have that happen? Well, and I just think for the character of Arthur Fleck specifically as the Joker, that would make a lot more sense because. His the entire first movie, he's under his mom's thumb until the very end when he decides to break out of that. So how easy would that be for his character to fall back into that? For him to be dominated by another... mommy Yeah. Right, mm -hmm. exactly. And not only that, but also he's like so obviously awkward and weird around women. I don't think that he has the charisma. He doesn't have the riz to go out and get <laughs> Lady Gaga and have her be obsessed with him. Right. You know what uh, I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I see that. I, yeah. Now, is that a spoiler alert? Like, are we giving away part of the plot? Do we know? Well, that no, because I don't know she, any of it. Okay. No. So Do we that's know what he romances? He's the one who romances her? Maybe she nope. romances him? <laughs> nope. But, All right. But based on some, like, I've seen a little bit of the trailer, and she seems like she's sort of adoring of him in them, and that's why I'm kind of like, mm, this don't track. Okay. You know? Okay. <laughs> 